Hi, I'm Carol Andrews for another episode of Southwest TV News. Here are some of the stories coming up on today's show. Following weeks of deliberation, Swift Current Mayor and Council voted in favor of the 2013 city budget on Monday. The $64.7 million budget includes an 8.9% tax increase. Saskatchewan Finance Minister Ken Krawitz has delivered a balanced budget for the coming year, focusing on a better quality of life for residents and continued economic growth. It was an afternoon of creative collaboration as Southwest TV News, in partnership with Great Plains College, took to the streets of the Swift Current neighborhood to produce a unique promotional video. Thanks for joining us here today. Well, it's that time of the year for budget announcements and Swift Current residents will be digging deeper into their wallets. We have more in today's top story. Following weeks of deliberation, Swift Current Mayor and Council voted in favor of the 2013 city budget on Monday. The $64.7 million budget includes an 8.9% tax increase. And when broken down further, this means an increase of $80 per year for the average homeowner. An increase which the city's mayor stands by. You know, we faced uh, a couple of myths over the last number of years that, uh, you know what, that, that we're overspending or that uh, Swift Current is becoming unaffordable. And I think the numbers show that uh, that just isn't the case. Uh, by a long shot, you know, our, our taxes are less. And, you know, the other thing that's important is comparing apples to apples. You know, when, when uh, the total taxes collected in Yorkton are just about $20 million, 4% of, uh, of that pie is uh, significantly more than 4% of what our pie is. So uh, a 4% increase in Swift Current uh, or, a, or an 8% increase in Swift Current isn't the same as uh, those equivalent increases in, in other communities. Highlights of the budget include $5.6 million for property development in such areas as the Sask Valley Subdivision and the new West End Commercial Strip. $3.7 million for streets and sidewalks. $421,000 for access transit and new runway lighting at the airport. And $70,000 per year over the next three years for an economic development master plan. And with a tax increase of 21% for local residents in the last two years, Schaefer says these are the signs of a growing city. You know, everywhere you look in our community, there's activity happening. Uh, businesses are investing. Our, our, uh, uh, our families are investing. Uh, new homes and construction numbers are way up. Lot sales are way up. And, uh, you know, we're putting a, a renewed emphasis on economic development and growth. And uh, I think it's a great time to be in our community. And uh, I think we've got a lot to be proud of. In the coming months, $1 million will be invested into the city's light and power department for system upgrades and other lighting improvements to 2nd Avenue Northeast and Chaplin. We're going to do the improvements by replacing the overhead lines in that downtown core underground. So this is a, a pretty exciting project for us. We're, uh, we, uh, we're one of the few cities that uh, will be doing, doing that typically, those older areas stay overhead. So this is going to be exciting for us to get it all underground and it's going to make for a, a less cluttered look as well as a huge improvement in safety. In the coming days, the 2013 municipal budget will be available for viewing online on the city's website. Hello? Hey mom, Chris has a fever, but I can't remember the number for Healthline. They just changed it. The Healthline number is now 811. <laughs> That's easy. Thanks mom. Healthline 811. Professional health advice, 24-7. Trust the team at Pinnacle Financial to help you reach your financial goals. Whether you require personal or corporate income tax planning, bookkeeping, management consulting, or full-service mortgage brokering, our expert team has you covered. Contact us today to begin your climb to the top. Following months of anticipation, the province of Saskatchewan unveiled its budget for the coming year on Wednesday. We bring you all the highlights in this report. Saskatchewan Finance Minister Ken Krawitz has delivered a balanced budget for the coming year, focusing on a better quality of life for residents and continued economic growth. Increases for Saskatchewan residents will include the tobacco tax, which rose by four cents per cigarette as of March the 21st. And liquor prices are also going up as of April the 1st by 3%. The budget showed a decrease in the area of education property tax, which includes 2.67 mils for agricultural land, 5.03 mils for residential, 
8.28 mils for commercial property and 11.04 for the new resource property category. Meanwhile, $4.84 billion is being invested into health care to reduce surgical wait times and improve the overall quality of life for Saskatchewan residents. Some of the highlights include $10.5 million in the STARS Helicopter Ambulance Program, which has already transported 200 patients since it started in 2012, $150.7 million to the Saskatchewan Cancer Agency, and $4.3 million to establish collaborative emergency centres, such as the primary health care model discussed for Shonovan. And $3 billion will go towards regional health authorities, an increase of 4.5% over last year. All crucial funding, although the Cypress Health Region was hoping to hear more on two key projects here in the Southwest. You know nothing about Swift Current Long-Term Care. We're still waiting for a finalization from the Ministry around how the funding is going to proceed for that project. We still know that, of course, we need... Um, a replacement of three facilities in this community so you know hopefully within a short period of time we're going to know how we're going to proceed with that uh, also you know no capital project for leader so I have to say I was extremely disappointed about that and I know that the community of leader will also be disappointed again we now have to make the decision of whether or not we will invest significant amounts of our resources to uh, do the repairs that are required out there. The Saskatchewan Ministry of Education is also receiving a range of funding topping $1.7 billion, an increase of $40 million from last year. This will go towards school operating funding, which includes money collected from the education property tax. Funds will be allocated in a number of areas, including the creation of 15 new K-12 programs and school capital projects. Funding which the Chinook School Division will be sorting through more closely in the coming days and its overall impact on the region. The new money is being allocated for uh, increased enrollments throughout the province. Uh, Chinook's enrollment is fairly stable and so we're not anticipating to uh, gain any of those funds. Uh, likewise, uh, we're not slated to add any new pre-Ks in Chinook, so we won't be accessing any of that money. The good news that we received was that uh, Leader School had been in the queue and was approved for some capital improvements. And in this budget, the funding came forward for that. So we, are, we already have the detailed design in place for Leader and we'll be moving forward on getting the work done. Municipalities are also benefiting from the provincial budget with $50.9 million for municipal infrastructure, including road and bridge repairs and $264.4 million in revenue sharing, an increase of 11.4% from last year, funding which will assist communities such as Swift Current with their bottom line. You know, we've seen some, uh, some increases uh, the last number of years uh, in our taxes because of the challenges that we face, and I'll tell you that revenue has certainly buffered that uh, and allowed us uh, 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 to do great things in our community. Other highlights of the budget include $3.2 million for the Seniors Income Plan, $5 million for Creative Saskatchewan, and a 5% increase to the Saskatchewan Arts Board, $406.9 million for Crop Insurance, $576 million for Highways, and $787 million for Advanced Education. A full overview of the provincial budget is available through the Government of Saskatchewan. The following is a paid political commentary by David Anderson, MP for Cypress Hills Grasslands, and does not in any way reflect the opinion of Southwest TV News. This is David Anderson, your Member of Parliament for Cypress Hills Grasslands. Welcome to the Anderson Report from Parliament Hill. Sharing information about issues with you is very important to me, and this is another way of doing that. Saskatchewan's economy continues to be very strong. The latest economic indicators from Stats Can show our unemployment rate is down even further to 4%, which is basically full employment, while employment numbers are up by about 1.5%. Manufacturing continues to be strong and resources and agriculture both underpin our economy. Our federal government has been able to work with the provincial government to lower taxes and to create opportunity. One of the issues that we've been concerned about has been the integrity of the EI system. Every year hundreds of millions of dollars of EI contributions are lost because of ineligible or fraudulent payments. For more than three decades, Service Canada's Integrity Services Branch has investigated suspected fraud under the EI Act. As a result, half a billion dollars in ineligible payments were discovered last year. But the EI system still lost hundreds of millions of dollars because of fraud. 
Recently in the House, the opposition have questioned and tried to stop the government's attempts to root out false employment insurance claims. You know, the only people who lose if the opposition stops us from auditing and getting rid of employment insurance fraud are the honest residents of Cypress Hills grasslands who pay their premiums and who follow the rules. We will ensure the integrity of the employment insurance program even as our economy continues its strong performance. Until next month, this is David Anderson, Member of Parliament for Cypress Hills Grasslands. Dancing in the streets while promoting Great Plains College scholarships was the focus of a promotional video. Southwest TV News brings you all the highlights in this behind the scenes look. It was an afternoon of creative collaboration as Southwest TV News in partnership with Great Plains College took to the streets of the Swift Current neighborhood to produce a unique promotional video. The production drew a varied cast from the Swift Current Comp Drama Department, GPC students and other aspiring actors. My sister told me about it and it, I thought it was going to be cool because sweet TV. I always watch it so that's pretty cool. I always wanted to be an actor, right, and um, when uh, Mr. Rumpel said we had an opportunity to do something like this, I was definitely right up for that. While for some, the production was a family affair. My dad was told about it and then he asked me, he's like, well, I think we're going to be doing a commercial together, and I was like, well, I'm in for that for sure. <laughs> and once each of the cast members had their costumes chosen and other props were in place, it was time to roll tape with each of the cast members showing off their best dance moves for the Swift Current version of the Harlem Shake. But essentially we're trying to promote the fact that we've got scholarships, uh, probably the best scholarship program in the province. I'm betting almost even the country and uh, really hoping that people will realize that and we wanted to portray that in a really fun way and we believe that this would be something that might catch people's attention. And along with college officials pleased by the production, these young participants were also beaming with enthusiasm from the experience. Yeah, probably yeah. the dancing. Yeah, well, that it was, was pretty, pretty cool. awesome. Her mom asked me some, like, oh, this will be fun. And I didn't know it'd be actually this crazy and fun. You can view the entire version of the Great Plains College Harlem Shake video online. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.